Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to answer this question, we need a detailed understanding of the pentose phosphate pathway. And these types of questions are actually pretty common on the MCAT where they require you to know some of the details of a metabolic pathway. And for this reason, I created my metabolic pathways course. The thing that makes this course a little bit unique from other methods for learning the metabolic pathways is that I've broken it down into very bite-sized chunks that are much easier to memorize. You know, a lot of students will try and draw out every single substrate and enzyme and energy substrate all at once for a single metabolic pathway such as glycolysis. And that's very difficult to do because that involves over 30 different biomolecules that you have to remember the names of. So instead of doing that, what I've done in this course is I've broken it down into bite-sized chunks. So for example, in this lesson for the pentose phosphate pathway, um, in first activity you're going to try and label the missing substrates. And notice that there's only seven things you have to label. So it's not too hard. And then you just reveal the answers. And I even put the structures in here. And that's something I'd, I'd recommend is to learn some of these structures. You know, if you can learn all of them, that's great. If you don't have time, it's not the end of the world. But I would try and learn as many of these structures as you can because the structures also will come up in the MCAT. And so it's, it's important to memorize those as well. And then we go through the energy substrates. And notice there's only seven of these as well in this single diagram. And you can just reveal the answers and check your work. And finally, we go through the enzymes. And you can the answers here and check your work as well. And then finally, as a final review, I have you do it all at once. So notice that I walk you through it step by step and then we go through all, the whole diagram at once. I want you to be able to draw the entire diagram and there it is right here. So in terms of answering this question, what are the products of this pathway? Well, it looks like we're producing some NADPH as well as some ribose 5-phosphate, which we can use for nucleotide synthesis. Now, one thing that some of, some of you might not be familiar with is what NADPH is used for. NADPH plays an important role in activating the natural antioxidants that you have in your body. In particular, it's, it's responsible for reducing glutathione. So as you can see in this image, NADPH is donating its hydrogen to glutathione, causing it to be reduced. And now, in its reduced form, it's able to act as a reducing agent as it reduces hydrogen peroxide into something much, much, much less dangerous, right? So originally, hydrogen peroxide is a free radical, which is going to cause damage to your body. Once we reduce it using glutathione, it's going to be much more stable as just water, right? So NADPH and the production of it is so important for your body in fighting off these free radicals that are produced in your body all the time. And taking a second look at our answer choices, we'll quickly notice that the correct answer here is answer choice A, ribose 5-phosphate, and NADPH. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, please visit my tutoring profile page request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.